are you guys doing? Are you well? Whoa! Look, it's me, Perrin the Nerd, without my glasses, and I've been away because it's been very cold. But today I'm back, and I'm so excited that my friend JD. <gasps> Have you guys met JD from Smiland? Okay, okay, let me ask this, let me ask this. Last week, there was JD from Smiland and someone else. Do you think they can guess who this is, JD? Can I give them a clue? Yes, it please. It starts with a P. P? What was the name of JD's friend that starts with a P? Hmm. I know, I know, it was a parable! No, it wasn't a parable. It, it, it's like the word pie. <gasps> pie. Pie! Oh yeah! It's a clue! What is his name? It's... Pie! From Pineland! Yes! Pie from Pineland. Where is Pie from Pineland today? Oh, pie holiday to Thailand to visit his pie family. <gasps> he went to visit his pie family. Yes, yes. Oh, I would love. Guys, I think if I go to pie family, I'm going to eat all of them. Oh, and the pies are so good. Oh, if you feel like you miss pie from Thailand, can you hit your tummy like us? Pies. Oh, the yummy pies. Mm. But we got someone even more special with us, and JD, what is, I'm gonna ask him a question about okay. you, JD. Okay, what is JD's favorite thing to do? Hmm. Hmm. What's your favorite thing? You can just watch her right now and see what her favorite thing is. Can you guys guess? How about you say it super out loud? You want to give them an extra clue? Hmm. Hmm. I do it. I'm doing it right now. I do it every day. And I'm from the land that does this. <gasps> I know. It's Emoji Land. No, not Emoji Land. Oh no. It starts with an S. <gasps> I know! They didn't know I know! Let me see, they're saying it out loud. Can you say it? Yes! Yay, Someone smile say smile! Well, well done, boys and girls. We're so excited that Parent the Nerd and, and Jaden and from Smiley are together with you guys. And we're gonna tell you another what? And this time we're gonna go into the same book we've been going to for a parable. And JD, what is that book? I think you've forgotten the name of the book, JD. Is it <laughs> Math? Math? You Math. almost did, JD. You can get it. Go ahead, JD. Matthew. Yes, well done, JD. Give me a high five, JD. Yes, the book of Matthew. Now the chapter. I'm gonna give you a clue for the chapter. It's like this. Mm hmm and mm hmm. Haha! <laughs> Who can guess what that number is? I think some of them will think seven. Is it seven? No, I didn't see a seven. Oh, seven. Yeah, seven. It's not Matthew chapter seven. It's it's written with two letters or two numbers. This one and this one. Kid, I don't think you have a clue what I'm talking about. Seven. It's not seven, JD. I told you already. Oh it's not seven. It's 25. Well done, smiling girl. Look at that. Yes, it's <laughs> Matthew chapter 25, verse 1. To which verse? 13. Yay! Matthew chapter what? 25 to verse 1 to 13. Well done, JD from Smiling. And before we get started, I want everybody, every, every boy and girl to close their eyes and bow their heads 
And JD, with a smile, is going to pray for us to have an awesome time together. Okay. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this wonderful time. I pray that all these boys and girls may hear your message clearly and that they may receive the Holy Spirit in their hearts. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Thank you, JD. That was an awesome prayer. Thank you, Ben. All right. So, we're going to tell you this story starting now. It says there were <laughs> 10 girls, 10 girls, 10 women, 10 women, and they had to do something. I'm not going to tell you what that is, but I'm going to sing a song and let's see if JD can guess what they had to do. Okay, are you ready? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Here's the song, here's the song, are you ready? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. get married, what are they called? Brides. Yes, they are called brides. And who do we call the person someone is getting married to when it's a man? That's a hard one. That's a hard one. Mm. It starts with, I'm going to give you a clue. If you've ever watched the Minions movie, there's a man with a long nose and his name is Gru. Aha! Now I give you the best clue to guess who is or person who's got to get married. What is the call the guy who's about to get married? A groom. A groom. Well done, JD. You're so smart. I wonder between JD and you guys, who's the smartest? They are the smartest. They are definitely the smartest. Look at yeah. these faces, JD. Can you see these faces? Smarty faces. So smart. These are smarty. Oh, super smart. Alrighty, so you smart kids, are you ready? So there was 10 women about to get married and they had something in their lamb, in their hand, that we use when there's load shedding, JD. Hmm. What do we use when there's load shedding? When the lights go pssst. Oh, I know, candles. Candles, yes, JD, you're so smart. So proud of you. Okay, kids, here's a challenge for you. Every time I ask a question, I want you guys to respond before JD, because you are in competition. Who's the smartest? JD from Smiling or Kids from Kids Life? Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Next question. So we said there was 10 women about to get married. Okay, Jade, was it nine or 10? Hmm. You guys guess who's gonna answer this first? I think it was no, JD, they did it first. They responded well. Well done, kids. Life, kids. There was ten women getting ready to get married, and they had something in their land called a candle, because it was dark. And back in the days when you had a candle, you needed to use something that we used to cook sometimes, that we use to help the candle keep on burning at all time. What is it called? JD and Kids Life. We use it to cook. It's very transparent. And, but you can't swallow it, you can't drink it. You can put it in the food to cook, but you can't drink it. It looks like water even, but you can't drink it. It looks like water. Yes. <laughs> Who's gonna get this? <laughs> Kids Life, you guys go first. Jenny doesn't know. Come on, guys, hurry. She's about to find out. You guys better scream the answer. Do you know? Tell us. Mm, is it oil? It is oil! Well done, Jenny. But I'm so sorry, kids. Now, these kids got it before you. Yeah. They knew Smarties. it was oil. They're so smart, smart. okay? Smart. And they had oil in their hands to keep the candle burning. Yes. And then. Hmm. Do you think the groom came on time? No, maybe he was still getting ready. He's probably getting ready, getting yeah. his suit ready. Can, yeah. can all the boys pretend to be getting ready? Put on, close your clothes. Can you just get ready? Hmm. 
Put a mirror in front of yourself and pretend you're looking at yourself, looking awesome. Hmm. Hmm. And then the poor ladies got tired of waiting. They got so tired. Oh, poor girls. And then, and, then, and then eventually, I think if I remember well, the story in Matthew chapter 25, verse 1 to 13, it says that eventually some of the ladies started having a problem with their candles. Yes. What happened? I remember the story. So basically, what happened was five. Can everyone put a five? Five of the ladies forgot to bring oil to keep the candle burning. And another five of the ladies brought oil so that they can keep the candle burning. <gasps> oh yeah! yeah. And, and, and then the five ladies who had brought the oil, they still had oil to wait on the bride, on the groom. And then the other five ladies didn't have enough oil because if you don't have oil, your, your candle light is going to die. And, and so they asked for something. They asked, so when the candle lights, the five ladies' candle lights burned out, they asked the other five ladies for some oil. But I think those other five, actually no, those other five ladies said no and they didn't want to share their oil. They didn't want to share their oil. I wonder why that was. That doesn't Such a big name. Yeah, why? Oh, yes. And so these are the five ladies said they were going to go to the shop yeah. to get more oil and then come back and wait for the groom. Yes. And they went to get some oil. And while they were away, what happened, JD? Hmm, by the time that they came back, the five brides were gone with the with the groom. The groom came to collect the five rides and the other ones went to the shop. So, so are you telling me that they, they didn't meet the groom? No, they didn't get married. They didn't get married? <laughs> they didn't get married? <laughs> That's so sad. That's a sad story. I'm, I'm but, not trying. but the other five women did get yeah, married. Because they kept their lamp burning. Why? You know what, Jenny? I think this is such a strange parable. Very strange. With people getting married and some people missing their marriage on the marriage day. Yeah. I think we need to find out why was Jesus telling this parable and what was the meaning behind the parable. So I'm going to ask you boys and girls, who are some of the people or some of the elements involved in this story? So we had five women who were wise enough to keep what with them? Oil. Oil, yes. Oil. And then we had another five women who were also pretty, but they did one thing wrong. What was it, JD? They didn't keep oil with them. They didn't have extra oil. And then we obviously have the oil situation because oil seemed to be important in this story. Yeah. And then finally we have one more character that is quite important. And who is it? The groom. The groom, super important. So, I'm going to ask you, JD, this is now, kids, I need you to clap your hands twice if you're ready for this question. Clap your hands twice. Come on, one more time. If you're ready for the questions, clap your hands twice. <laughs> JD, if you are ready for this question, clap your hands thrice. <laughs> All right, so it's Kids Life versus JD from Smile Land. And here's the first question. Who do you think the groomsman representing the story that everybody had to wait for. Who is the groomsman in real life? Go! JD, think about it. JD, think about it. Think about it. Hmm. <laughs> the timer is on. You guys got five seconds. Shout out the MC if you know it. Five, four, three, two, one. Bang! Kids laugh, can you say it first who is a groom in a real in real life? Okay, they give us an answer. I'm gonna see if that's true. JD from Smile and who do you say the groomsman is? Jesus. The groomsman is Jesus. You are both right. So one point each. Well done, well done. Next question. Who do you think? It's gonna get a lot more complicated. Who do you think the five wise women or foolish women? Who do you think are the five Foolish woman in real life. Who are the five? Five seconds. Five, 
four, two, one, bang. JD, you are not sure, but you are smiling. <laughs> um, I think the five foolish women are the people that don't know, that don't have the Holy Spirit. The people who don't have the Holy Spirit. I think that's very close. But let's hear from Kids Love. What do you guys say? Mm -hmm. um, almost there. But here is the correct answer. The five women, they had everything, but they didn't have enough oil. These are actually people who have heard about God. They say they believe in God. But unfortunately, because they think God is still not coming back, they get tired of waiting for God and they go back into the world. They don't wait for Jesus. They just hear about him. They say they believe in him. And when life gets real hard, guess what happens? They just leave and don't wait on God. And then we have the five other women who are the best because they not only heard about God, they believed him, but they were also ready to wait a long time for Jesus. And they kept on holding on to their faith. And so the, the flame in the candle can be seen as the faith but faith without the Holy Spirit works is going to die. And so what was the oil representing in the story? Hmm. The Holy Spirit. Yes, absolutely. The oil in the story was the Holy Spirit. And what we learned today is that we need to have faith in God. And we need the Holy Spirit so we can keep on having faith. And more importantly, does anybody know when Jesus is coming back, J.D.? No. So what do we have to do then? Jesus said that we do not know the hour that he will come back. We don't know when he will come back. So that's why it's important to wait and be ready at all times. Exactly. We're going to wait and be ready at all times. Can we say it together? One, two, three. We're going to wait, wait and be ready at all, all times. times. One more time, we're going to wait and be ready at all times. You and I are doing the movement and they're saying it. We're going to and be at... Well done, Jenny. That was amazing. That was. And don't forget to also keep... We can't do it on your own. The Holy Spirit is there to help us also. Wow, JD, that was an awesome story. It was a bit hard to understand, but we did it. We did it. I'm just curious to know, before we leave, JD, can you ever, can you do five seconds with that smile? Can we try? Let's see. One, two, three, go. One. <laughs> I see. She couldn't even do it. JD always smiles. See you guys next week.